2018 NFL Draft is exactly one month away, and players who have sacrificed themselves, worked hard, and enjoyed a successful college career will soon see their dreams come true by playing in the NFL. And we're here to talk it up with one of those players today as we go one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Holland, ranked in the top 12 of our lads outside linebackers in the 2018 NFL Draft on the OFN Meeting Room with Greg DePama. All right, it's Thursday, March 29th, 2018. I'm Greg DePama. Thanks for tuning into the OFN Meeting Room as we talk NFL Draft with Jeff Holland. Uh, Jeff, thanks for speaking with us today. No, uh, thank you all. Thank you all. Yeah, looking forward to this conversation, Jeff. And, uh, you know, you, you, you were a first-year full-time starter this past season, capturing first-team All-SEC honors. Uh, you took over the Buck linebacker position from current Bengal Carl Lawson, registering 10 yes, sacks, uh, which was a huge season for you, including one in your final game at the Peach Bowl. Uh, yes, sir. Even though you had to wait your turn until this past season, did your college career at Auburn turn out to be all you had hoped it would be? Oh, yes, sir, absolutely. You know, I had a great time there. I met you know, some fine guys. I met some brothers. So I, I met great coaches, you know. Just being there was a great experience. What could you tell me as far as the when, – when you look at a guy like, like Lawson, your former teammate, and, and he's got this really successful rookie season in the NFL, how does that make you feel about your abilities and how successful you can be at the next level? Uh, you know, it makes me feel, like, very confident. You know, if, if a guy like Carl can do it, you know, who I, who I was behind and, a guy that mentored me, a guy that I learned from. Uh, I know I can do it, but you know it's all in what come, what what kind of mindset you come in with. And I think you know, Carl helped me to capture that mindset when he was there in Auburn. Talk about uh, this past season, Jeff. Uh, how crazy your emotions must have been like over the last month, uh, winning five straight and the regular season, beating Georgia, beating Alabama over just a two-week oh, stretch. Big. It's big. It was big. It was my team. You know, because we worked so hard in the offseason. You know, we talked about those moments during the training. You know, we always had our, our Alabama reps, <laughs> our Georgia reps. So, you know, just beating those teams, you know, it, it was big for this, this team period. Oh, what kind of a ride of emotions did you go through from that, you know, the, the, the high of highs from the Alabama win and then the loss in the SEC championship game? Uh, You know, it, it was tough, you know, because we got that far, you know, uh, some of the leaders, like some of the guys on the team, you know, they felt like they let the team down. But, you know, I, I don't look at it as a letdown, you know. I mean, you know, you can't win every every game you play. So, I mean, it's just really just and coming off those tough games, so back to back, you know, I, I, I pretty much think our bodies were tired. What was your your biggest win then d during the season? And and and, and I, uh, I think it was that I think it was that Georgia win. The Georgia win, okay. That yeah, was the one. That was number one. Okay, and did you have the most fun in that game as well? I mean, it oh, looked yeah, like you it guys. Was, it was great. <laughs> it was fun. It, it was fun. You know, we had uh, we had the fans storm the field. You know, uh, that was just one of the you know best games I've probably been in in my whole life. Before the SEC championship loss, what would have been your most disappointing loss? Uh, probably that LSU loss because you know we were we're up by so much. You know, uh. They came back and beat us. You know, that was a tough loss. Now, uh, what do you think you learned the most from playing in all those big games so far as far as the pressure you had to deal with, concentration level, and yeah. how do you think you handled it uh, over oh, – and, and, and also, of course, your overall performance? Uh, you know, a thing that I like to – and, and a lot of people told me, stay poised. You know, stay, stay with a lot of great positive energy. And, you know, stay poised. I mean, I believe you can't do anything to stay poised, you know, to be down by 21, I think it's still really a chance to come back. You know what I'm saying? So I think just stay with a positive attitude and, you know, stay poised and, you know, lift, lift the buttons up that's around you, and I think you'll be all right. Now, what do you think you have to do to improve your game uh, as you, uh, you know, when you go in to, to an NFL camp? Uh, is there yes, something sir. that's going to be completely evident to you when the coaches get on you for something in particular? Is there something that you know you have to do a better job of? Uh, I think I can be a better run stopper. You know, it's always an area for improvement. But um, I think 
I'll be pretty good. You know, I take hard coaching well. You know, I, my coach, coach, you know, that's where he bases off. You know, I think, I, I think I'll be all right with the hard coaching. Okay. Uh, now at your pro day, you had a short press conference afterwards and during the Q&A said you were the best pass rusher in the draft. What makes yes, you the best pass rusher in the draft? You know, my, you know, my motor, my energy, and I, and I believe if I get a one-on-one on my tackle, I will beat him nine times out of ten, ten times. And I, and I really believe, truly and believe that. Well, it's a position, as you know, uh, Jeff, in the NFL nowadays, especially that 3-4 linebacker position, the pass rush specialist, even if that's what you become, bottom line is getting to the quarterback. That is such yes, an sir. important part of the NFL right now. I mean, just look at what Von yeah. Miller did for the Denver Broncos when they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, he was the yes, main sir. reason they won the Super Bowl. Not Peyton Manning. It was it was Von yeah. Miller. So uh, knowing that, uh, how how does that make you feel as you as you go into the pro game and understand what how big of a role you have? Uh, I mean, it's it's great. I mean, you know, uh, I think I think you know me. I like I like I like I like all the, uh, all that. You know, I love getting the quarterback. You know, uh-huh. I'm coming in in this league knowing that uh, you know, I can get to the quarterback, and you know, I got areas for improvement, and I and I always got ways to learn. I want to I want to learn more. You know, so getting into that into the league, I can get. You know, one of the vets, you know, teach me some of the stuff they know because I don't know everything right sure, now. Sure, sure. So once I get that down pat, you know, I think I'll be pretty good. Well, I, I, I'm just so you know, I'm a Jet fan, and we've been waiting for a good pass rusher uh, from their three-four defense to come along. So uh, I'd love to see you on the team. No question about that. Yes, sir. We, we, I, I actually had a workout with Coach Green. Did you really? He's a great coach, yes, isn't he? That's that's somebody yes, to sir, learn from. Uh, that'd be I awesome. We, we'd have yeah, to do this every week. Coach. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, a couple more things, Jeff. Uh, you also mentioned on your pro day that you're a football player. Just watch the film. If you yeah. had just one game film that you were the most proud of that you would like scouts to see, which game film would that be? Uh, you can you can you can pull up on every game. But, <laughs> uh, mostly, I, I think the Georgia game was a great game. Okay. I played in uh, the Arkansas game. I mean, basically, almost every game. Alabama game was a big game for me. You know, I, I had one thing, but, you know, just the pressures I had on Jalen Hurts, you know, he couldn't get the ball off. So, sure. Uh, I, think, I think that was a good game also. All right, now getting back to you saying uh, you're a football player, uh, yeah. your former coach, Gus Malzahn, talked about how your love and passion for the game was contagious. Uh, where does that love and passion come from, Jeff? Uh, you know, I always well, you know, if it wasn't for the teams, I was always in the street playing. You know, I, I always loved just to play football. So I, I always try to come in, come into the locker room with all the love and pass, pass, pass on to some of the guys that thinking twice about it. You know, with some guys on the team that think twice about coming to practice. You know, it's, just be happy to be here. You know, just thank you, thank God, and you're blessed to be able to play this great sport. And you know, that's all what I always. Um, all right, now get. Okay, now give me a, a non-superstar type of player that you played against who draft fans should keep an eye on. Again, somebody who maybe they're familiar with, but maybe they're not. Uh, like anybody? Anybody. So I can't say Von Miller. Well, no, you can't say Von Miller. <laughs> give me a player that you played against, that you played against. Uh-huh. Uh, in college, and it could still be in college. Maybe they're going to go back for the, for you know next year in college that you played against this past season, or or you know what you th- you know they're going to be drafted, but they're going to be drafted in the middle rounds maybe. And uh, but that's a guy to keep an eye on. Oh, you talking about a pass rusher? Could be anything, anybody. Um, you know I, I like it's a guy who played for Kentucky. Uh, he's a receiver. His name is Jared Johnson. Keep an eye on him. He's a, I mean electrifying. Okay, that's a good one. I like that one. And again, that is uh, you're talking about uh, 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 Garrett Johnson, the senior. Okay, got it. Yeah. That's somebody that we're going to pencil in right here, Garrett Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Garrett. Yeah, he's great. I mean, I, I I've been watching him since high school, and we actually play on a seven on seven team together. Okay, so he, he he's electric fire. Now, uh, last question: favorite NFL team. The Jags. I'm from Jacksonville, so my Jags, you know. So that would be uh, an unbelievable dream come true, playing for the Jags. Oh, yeah, it will. It will. 
All right, Jeff, I appreciate it. Uh, best of luck uh, next month. And again, we hopefully sometime uh, later on uh, down the road get an opportunity to talk to you again. All right, thank you all. Thank you. All right, that's Jeff Holland. So uh, Auburn fans, uh, you get an opportunity uh, to be proud when Jeff, uh, among other Auburn players from this uh, past season, are going to be uh, they're going to hear their names called uh, in the NFL draft and uh, and I'm, I'm not kidding when I'm saying I'm a Jet fan looking for a pass rusher. So uh, Jeff Holland would be somebody that trust me, Jet fans would be very happy to hear his name called uh, for New York. And uh, best of luck to Jeff. Uh, now don't forget, uh, fans, you can order a subscription if you're choosing, including the 2018 Our Lads NFL Draft Guide. Go to the website, rlads.com, hit the subscribe menu on the top left-hand side of the homepage, fill out the form, uh, order the guide, and that's it. You'll get the guide delivered to your mailbox uh, within a matter of days. And uh, that'll be coming out real soon, probably in about a week from now. Uh, they'll start to uh, become available. So go ahead and order it now. Uh, follow us on Twitter also at PrimeSN. You can receive our up-to-date media alerts, including when this show and other shows are available on demand. And that's it. Thanks for listening to this edition of the OFN Meeting Room with Greg DePama on the Arlads Football Radio Network, where it's never too early to think about the NFL draft.